First Step 5 recently unearthed body camera footage from a 2019 fatal shooting by a San Antonio police officer. Has the attorney for the victim's family surprised and fuming? We first told you about this yesterday. Hannah Westall fatally shot by SAPD Sergeant David Perry in March of 2019 while she was carrying a non-functional replica Uzi BB gun. Though officials have publicly said there was no body cam footage, that footage turned up this week and is prompting the district attorney's office to re-examine in the case. Our Garrett Berger looks at how the video apparently fell through the cracks. The video starts in the middle of the shooting of Hannah Westall, an event captured already on dashboard camera. Though the clip may not reveal much new about the shooting, its appearance in a trove of files sent over by the city as part of a federal lawsuit shocked her family's attorney. That for two years, the family and I, the family long before I was involved, was told that there was no body cam. According to a statement from the city attorney, this 18 second, mostly soundless clip, which we aren't showing due to the graphic nature, was created as Sergeant David Perry tried unsuccessfully to turn on his body camera. The clip, quote, was not apparently available when homicide reviewed video, but it was when internal affairs did later. According to the city attorney's statement, quote, federal law prohibits the commingling of criminal and administrative investigations. Consequently, IA did not communicate the existence of the pre-event buffer clip to homicide. That is the most crap I've heard in a long time, and I'm 56 freaking years old. Cortez thinks the footage should have been made public as soon as reasonably practical, believing that would have fixed the issue over who knew it existed. Though we also had harsh words for the homicide investigator. It's insane to think that he didn't bother looking or didn't didn't make sure that there was or wasn't and any glitches shouldn't have come out in July of 2021 for a shooting that took place in March 2019. That's insane. That's just extreme incompetence. And there's no other way to put that. An SAPD spokeswoman says that preliminarily the homicide investigator won't face discipline, noting this was not intentional in any way. Sergeant Perry remains on full duty. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.